away with the other titans, huh? Yes. He was afraid they'd overthrow him. There was a prophecy. Bored. Grandpappy made the right call. Those things are an eyesore. <laughs> Get it? Uh, the birth of Aphrodite is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about it. Grandpappy Uranus and my deadbeat dad, Kronos, had a battle so great it severed heaven from Earth. That's not all that was severed. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. When Earth was severed from heaven, there was a great earthquake that knocked a pearl loose from its oyster. Oh, hang on, there was no... <clears throat> the pearl flew from its oyster on land, and Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea with such a force that it caused the frothy foam to bubble. Ah! <sighs> 
From the sea foam, Aphrodite rose, full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh, yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. Kronos, they fought. You can't be serious. And then you fell into the sea. That's. Because Kronos cut off his... <gasps> You're sick, Prometheus! Do not talk to me! With the sea foam secure... Ah. Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom and the <laughs> vault. Huh? 
You sweet creature. <gasps> Do you have the sea foam? Right here. Oh, aren't you good? Please, take my blessing for all your hard work. Now quick, pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No, there's too many cuddly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night, just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes. And those noses, those quivering wet noses. <gasps> Ugh! <laughs> 
Close call. What are you doing here? Ooh, a human. Fearlessly defying the city-wide evacuation. Can you get him somewhere safe? Your wish is my command line. Teletran X, that's... Straight up. Exactly. Safe from blaster fire and collapsing infrastructure. Plus, the view is tremendous. Why, I can see numerous Decepticon forces marching right this way. What? Where? Uh, this city's a labyrinth. Yes, some guidance would be most useful. Perhaps our Earthling friend can assist you. Okay, human. Bumblebee will follow your instructions, where to go, and what to do. First, let's try a basic attack. This is the action bar. Here, you can view and equip abilities. To attack, equip Blaster Shot, then select your target. Great shot! Each Autobot can attack only once per turn, so choose your target carefully. Now, let's try moving. You're free to move anytime without an ability equipped. To move, select a tile within range. Sure. Perfect! Every turn, each Autobot has three action points they can use to move and attack. Before performing an action, check how many points you're about to use under the cursor or next to the Autobot's picture. All action points reset at the start of your turn. In the meantime, it'll be the Decepticon's turn to move and fight back. Bumblebee, can you hear me? Windblade, is that you? 
Hey, glad to hear Ratchet finally fixed your voice box. I'm on my way. Head north. But be careful. Shadow Striker is closing in on your sector. Whatever you do, don't let... Windblade? Hello? Uh, okay, human. It's you and me. Look out, human! There's a Decepticon scout just ahead. Instruct Bumblebee to approach. Remember, moving short distances will use one action point. Moving longer distances will use more. Let's move. Got it. Moving. This'll hold. Aha! Gotcha! They're closing in. Fortunately, Bumblebee has a few hidden tricks. The Stinger is a special ability. You can boost its power level by increasing the amount of action points used to attack. Equip a power level, then attack the Decepticon. Perfect! Certain attacks may also inflict a status effect, if you're lucky. Whoa! Uh, hi guys! How's it rolling? Oh my! Bumblebee's surrounded! This indicator shows how many Decepticons are nearby. Use Bumblebee's blaster and stinger to fight them back. Cons, watch your bumper! Yeah! That's one con down. Switch it. Bumblebee. Shadow Striker? Is that you? What's left of me after you blew me to pieces? What do the Decepticons want? Why attack the city? Omegatron has big plans, but I wanted to see you personally. Oh? Deactivated. Oh. After countless cycles, you're mine. Buildings will protect the Autobots from incoming fire, so they can attack from safety. Phew. Shadow Striker's moving for a clear shot. Switch Bumblebee's position before she attacks. Okay, human. It's all on you. Protect Bumblebee and defeat Shadow Striker. Cons, watch your bumper! Okay. Safe. Ooh. 
No problem. Look solid. Yeah. <laughs> The legendary scout, taking orders from a human. We're a team. We're survivors. So, what's your grand plan? Your four wheels against the Decepticon fleet? Exactly. Four wheels, two wings... ...and one blade. Shadow Striker, meet Stormfall. Ugh, next time, Bumblebee. Oh, <laughs> this is bad, B. Decepticons are swarming the city. They can only be after one thing. The Allspark. Well, if it's a race they want. Speed won't solve this. We're outnumbered. We gotta be smart. No surprises. Is that... a human? Yes. I've enlisted some local knowledge to navigate this congested alien habitat. Plus, they totally saved my spark. <sighs> Fine. They can tag along. Just until we find Grimlock. And B? It's great to see you. Let's move.